CPL76. I'm your current host, Dark Steel Hula Hoop. With me today is. Foxy. Hello. Yes. As I go through more and more co hosts. <laughs> what happened to the old ones? You'll never know. Wait, no, what happened to the old ones? Um, th this screen tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Oh, well, like, there's crows or ravens. Like, I like crows and ravens. They're, they're good burbs. Yes, the editor is a good man, bird thing. <laughs> okay, so we are going to continue our adventure today to uh, escort a poor, deranged Girl Scout down this river of the Midwest. Which didn't used to be here, but is now here because of weather stuff. Global warming. The real threat caused by the Reds. Um, okay. You can blame it on whoever you want, I guess. It's <laughs> not, get, not going into that. <laughs> not touching that. When the sun turned red, everything went to shit. Woof woof. So I I know very little about this game. I mean, you've you've given me a bit of a rundown on what the game is. We're we're trying to ensure the survival of like a Girl Scout in in America as she's canoeing um down a river. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna see um, her um. Uh... Yeah, you're going to see her boat, and it is in a canoe. Oh? <laughs> it probably would have been safer to have a canoe. It, is it like a wooden raft with a makeshift scale? A scale? Sail? Uh, there is no sail. Ben? There is no sail. I have had well, a rudder installed sailing? recently. We're not sailing. We're going down a river. We're, we're being pulled along by the currents. Oh, okay, okay. So, so just like casually bobbing along. I, I wish it was casually. I mean, it's casually some of the time. The uh, high blue gentleman, I see you there as well. Um, casually some of the time. Okay. Yes. I mean, th this game has quite a nice aesthetic to it. So yeah. I'm hoping that you're not going to traumatize me with like. Some horrific boating incidents. I, I hope that's not why you're burning through co hosts like anything. Ooh, sapling. Yeah, I'm gonna need those. Okay, what can I make? Uh, frame or hardware? What do I got right now? I got frames, I got schematics. I need some hardware. I know, so you, you can make some tea. That would be a good choice. Yeah, I have uh, some sumac tea right now. Uh, tea, tea is always a good choice. <laughs> okay, so let's make a frame. Let's... Um, my week's going fine. How's your week going, Dark Steel? Pretty good. I mean, it's only, it's only Tuesday, so like plenty of time for things to go wrong, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Grimus has asked what the aim of the game is. I'm assuming survive, not drowning. So, yes, uh, you're trying to survive. Uh, when this dog found you, uh, it had a radio in its backpack, uh -huh. so we're, like, following that signal right now. Okay, we are... The aim of the game is currently to find the source of this radio signal. Correct. Okay. And I suppose, like, on the matter of, like, days of the week, it is, like, it's the end of Tuesday for me. So, like, it's hump day tomorrow, halfway through the week. It's all downhill from there. Oh, I already had... Wait. I thought I'd made hardware. Okay, so I needed raft hardware, not the frame. Great. Uh, this this fourteen year old girl, I think you said she, she's fourteen, is That's already what I'm probably assuming. a lot more. Like she's probably a lot better at all this survival stuff than I am. Like I tried the camping once, 
and I, I was not a fan of it. Um, I mean, it was good when I was naive, but I have since grown attached to the finer things in life, such as hot showers and not shitting in a bucket. Why, why would you need to do that? There's a perfectly good bush right over there. I'm English. I'm not French. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about a hole in the ground? Yeah, that'll do. I have standards. They're not particularly high. But they're there. Mm. Okay, so yeah, this this is our raft. No. That's the raft. Okay, yep. well. A bunch of steel drums, uh, some crates, some planks all lashed together. I mean, like, okay, so so it's a raft, steel drums, like, I assume they're, like, plugged, so, like, they're just barrels of air to help with the buoyancy, like, I'm wood, pretty wood sure, stack. but I am not positive. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, wood, wood's a good choice. Wood is, like, generally buoyant, providing it's, like, used correctly. Um. Oh, food. There it was. Uh, yeah. I will eat. I'll eat some Yeah, garlic. camping was... Like, when I used to go camping, it used to be like, there's part of a... I, I shouldn't use the word society. Apparently, society has connotations of poshness. It was like an amateur dramat dramatic society. They were very stereotypical amateur dramatics. Um, but we'd go camping... And um, there'd be like a hundred of us in a field and we'd have bonfires and it was a very social experience. It was great, but, you know, lack of showers and shitting in a bucket was not for me after a while. See, I'm trying to stick to the calm parts of the river. Eh, avoid the cars. Hey, I'm trying to raft here. <laughs> See, like you've you've gone right. Oh, oh, the weather's taking a turn, though. Yep, of course it did. See, raft made of wood, not raft made of cars. Like we can see clearly here, cars not that good at floating. Okay, let's see here. Can I build myself a tent for my... Uh, no. I can upgrade the storage. Oh, you've got a stove. Yes, I, I, do, do I do have a stove. I've also had installed a rudder. So you can steer a bit. A little bit, yes. And do you have, like, the fairly required on the edge of floating devices like old tires uh the only tire on my uh boat is the anchor i'm using or like the tether uh oh yes they're the oil drums i can see sorry um you lovely people watching on stream are getting a high definition picture I, i'm watching without the latency on on discord and it's a little bit oh little it's bit super pixelated isn't it yeah <laughs> I am sorry it's about fine. that. No, no, it's fine. You need to prioritize stream quality to the lovely people um, watching. Um, hi, Ralphie. Yes, yes, I do recommend that you have redundancies. I don't know how much option for redundancy you have in this, though. Oh, I can only like, get one You've got two jars of tea, though. Two jars of sumac tea. That's, like, clearly um, sufficient, right? I don't know. What's enough of stuff in this? Uh, I mean, it, it'll give me 50, uh, 30 hydration. Oh, that's not even... Uh, yeah, it's hydration. It's good enough. Uh, I would enough. definitely brew some more tea, but uh, I don't have any kindling. Actually, can I make any kindling at the moment? No. What do I need? T 
Tinder. Cattails, and that's right, because I'm out of rope. Uh, and hi, Silent the Horizon. Um, is it morning for you? Not morning for me. Is it morning for you, Darksteel? Uh, it's about five in the afternoon for me. See? It's the afternoon, the evening. What on earth are you talking about the morning? Oh, are you one of those weird people in Upside Down? I'm going to insult so many nationalities on stream because I can. <laughs> How many can you personally <laughs> insult? Uh, I, 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 it comes from a place of love. I like the music in this game. Stream volume on them. Oh, yeah. It's nice. That's chill. Ah. Nope. Uh, you might want to crash less. Yes, that would be very helpful. You're in a calm a bit now. Ugh. Uh, what is this? Hudson Petroleum, filling station, source of gas, work, gas, workbenches, lumber, rags, hardware. I need a bore. A bore? Yeah, so for whatever reason, to make a leather kit, I need bore skin. It won't let me use any other kind of leather. God. I, I would not recommend a Girl Scout goes hunting poor. I wouldn't recommend a Boy Scout goes hunt I wouldn't recommend anybody without a high-caliber gun goes hunting poor. I, I get to use spear traps. And that's it. That's not it. sound sufficient. It actually works pretty well. Apparently, uh, the saplings around here have, like, the tensile strength of spring steel. Hmm. Oh, if it works, it works. I say, it's nice to see a post-apocalypse that's not filled with zombies. Yeah, it, like, zombies get a little overdone. Yeah. Is it a fun idea? Yes, but it's like... Unless the zombies are magical, they're actually all going to disappear in, like, six months. Oh, uh, are you, like, a zombie apocalypse realist? Like, kind of like me, then? Like, it, it, yeah, it depends on what kind of zombie apocalypse you're having. Now, if the undead are being, like, raised by a, a angry god, like, well, then, yeah, they can stick around. Yeah. Like, if, if they're raised by an angry god or there's some kind of magic or something like that I, I guess if they're like fungus zombies or something like that fungus then... zombies maybe but uh, even maybe. then that's only going to extend their lifespan by like maybe two three years mm, yeah high pistol um yeah if they're like the rotten corpse zombies my my survival strategy is go somewhere hot go somewhere tropical go somewhere where like things rot fast um, well, just just go you, to the places where you need to like, go to just an extreme, one end or the other. Because even if you go to a cold place, the mm -hmm. zombies aren't gonna think to like huddle for warmth or anything. They're literally gonna freeze into a statue and just shatter. Oh yeah, like if I go to somewhere like Malaysia, like somewhere tropical where they have like rice fields, they can get like three harvests in a year. Like that's insane. Like. You don't have the, you know, temperate crop conditions we have. You know, you've got more food being grown. You've got, oh. you know, zombies just falling to pieces. It's, it's like, we'll wait it out there for a few years. Uh oh, it's this old lady again. Magnolia. So lady. How did you How did you get ahead of me, Magnolia? It's a witch. Why aren't you talking to the creepy old lady? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my stuff first before I talk to her. She scares me. Oh, okay. Do you have any cookies to sell her? I wish. I probably ate all of those just to survive. Okay, 
I need to... Where is... I'll talk to her afterwards. I need to sleep through this rain. Oh. Ralphie, no. Violence isn't always the answer. Well, in this game, I suppose violence isn't always the answer. Uh, yeah, I haven't met any of the survivors that have been violent. I mean, I found two feral kids that wanted to eat my dog, but... How dare they? Well, one of them wanted to eat the dog. The older sister, uh, I guess, said that creatures that have names aren't for eating. So I'm like, that's very sensible. <laughs> It's harder to eat things with names. But then I'm a vegetarian, what do I know? Oh, you don't know the I deliciousness? That is... Mmm, just meat. Oh, yeah. Ah. Violence is not the answer, it's a question, and the answer is yes. Blue gentleman, are you, are you daring to, like, rework some, uh... Oh god, was it Nickelback? Nickelback lyrics. How dare you? Is that where that's from? Like, I've seen that quote around uh, before, but... I don't know, it's like... Whoever did, like, sex is... Isn't a question, it's the answer, and the answer is yes. Or whatever. I don't know, I can't remember. Look, I'm not very good with song lyrics. I can't remember most, like, singers' names or anything like that. Like, I love Iron Maiden. Don't ask me to name, like, any of their names. Oh, okay. Blue Gentleman is being, like... We're, we're going to take his word for it, that he it's his own invention, and that he came up with it independently. Um, never mind the fact that it's a pretty good mirror for some song lyrics at some point. Um, uh, Ralphie's, like, like Ralphie's um, proposing that if we've had to resort to uh, violence, we fail to resort to enough violence. If violence isn't your last resort, you have failed to resort to enough violence. Hey, Thunder. Gas, gas, gas. Now, do you Gonna have a proper container gas. to put that gas Tana. in? Did you ever watch uh, Initial D? No. Is anime? Uh, the closest to anime I've watched is um, Avatar: The Legend of Aang. The the first Avatar. Yeah. The good one. Watched. Um, I've watched both of them. I've watched whatever the second one was called. Ah, I didn't. Um, I didn't like it like at all. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her now. I didn't like it, but After I've I been eat. told it's better if, like, you watch it again without trying to hold it to Avatar as a comparison piece. But the whole thing is, it is a, it is a sequel. <laughs> it's... I'm I mean, told people enjoyed it. I didn't. Eh, I've I mean, not gone it's back fair to enough. It's like people it. people enjoyed it, so it was good enough for some. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, uh, second one did have a lot of cool ideas and concepts, but it was meh. Yeah, I I agree with you. Like they tried doing some interesting things with the seasons that they had, because like they had the Equalists, and then they had like the blood bending guy. Oh no, that was the Equalist art. Oh god, why did do, why does her image like vibrate like that? It is creepy. She reminds me a bit like Odin, you know, with the one eye and the crow. Is Odin cross-dressing again? I'm pretty sure he actually <laughs> did that in, like, in the mythology. The, the, the North, the Norse deities got up to some weird shit. Um, Odin rides around, like, rides around on his nephew. Well, yes, Raiden. Raiden? Odin rides around on an eight-legged horse that is the child of Loki and a stallion that he fucked. Well, I guess she fucked, because Loki yeah. was female at that time. Um, or got fucked by. Like, 
Yep, he got, got he hid weird. in the he like, hid in the uh the stables and was not expecting to uh get up to what he got up to. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, like, oh, this is probably weird terrain. We should be careful because we're on Twitch um, with this weird terrain. But what I will say is, like, Loki is the parent of the Norse god of hermaphrodites. Okay. Because they had a god for them. So did the Greeks, but the Greeks was a bit more messed up. But The, the Greeks are always messed up. Like, yeah, no, it's just like you never hear anything positive really come from the Greek gods. Like Greek Greek mythology is kind of weird because like we've grown up in a western culture where like gods are good, like god is good. Um and then you meet the Greek culture, um ancient Greek culture rather. And and like these are gods, so like you are inherently trying to associate them with that idea of goodness, that very western idea of goodness that we have and it doesn't really map onto any of them very well at all. Okay, uh, so we're talking to, uh, to this lady <laughs> You're looking a bit peaked, Wanderer Feeling well? No way to heal most ailments. Air been hypnotized? hypnotized. <laughs> Not so as I recall Human body is a thing of astonishing wonder. Got the powder power to heal near anything locked inside. Just gotta convince your brain to do it. <laughs> okay. Fix my ailments. Feel fine, thanks. Afraid you'll make me think I'm a chicken. I, I think it just feel fine. I don't want to insult her. Mm. Yeah. I mean, do you feel fine, though? Yeah, I am not suffering from anything. Like this is actually useful because, like, I've done a run before where I had like s I was vomiting everywhere. I was like dizzy. It was bleeding. And and you're not put off by the skull and crossbones floating above her cauldron of green goo. Um, I I'm a little worried. Like last time I encountered her, she offered me some food. And she did give me some food. She gave me a dead rabbit, like a whole rabbit. I mean, that's pretty good eating. Depart this here place. I do like that she's been written with an accent, because because it's it's nice to see some localization in the way the voice is written. I, I don't know what the actual word is, but localization feels right. Yeah, I mean that works well enough for my understanding. So hmm. I need some water. How many of those? I've only got one use remaining left, so I will leave that there. Go back to my raft. Utilize, put the gasoline in the raft. Put this in here. I mean, clean water. I'm so, so, oh, why are you filtering the water if you have a source of like fire and heat? Uh, Can't I, you like evaporate I cannot the use the stove the right now. I don't have any kindling oh. to start it. Okay. Because like if you've got fire, then you can like evaporate water onto a condensation surface. Yeah. Um, with like, sloped, and then the, you know, essentially condensed steam, which is water, will be like clean of most things. Certainly, like clean enough to drink, and because it's been boiled, you've like killed a lot of um, the viruses that could have been in there by just denaturing them. I think. Like, don't put me in a survival that... situation. I'll die. <laughs> You'll have to find someone big and strong to uh, utilize 
Um, let's put it this way. If I was in... Holy know, shit! What? Oh, where did the fucking wolves come from? Oh god, they're nasty. No, no, I cursed. You curse. Shouldn't we be cursing? Uh, three... Eight, eight. Throw. What do you eat that? Oh, ah. ooh, ooh. I can almost never get them to chase me this far, and that one just came for me. Come on. Come on. You ran at me before. Run at me now. But the difference is it knows there's a trap there. I'm just going to use the other tainted meat. Oh, didn't the trap get set off then? I thought. Yeah, but there's three wolves. Oh, okay. So, like, you, you said you swore. Should we not be swearing on stream? I don't remember the rules for it, so... Neither do I. So I'm just going to assume that it's bad, okay? Okay, I'll I'll stop swearing then. Um, I don't want to get yelled at, because it's like, what'd you do to our channel? Like, let, let's put it this way though. Like, if we were, and I know we've already said we're not a fan of like zombie survival situations, but if I was like in a zombie survival situation, I would be like the community administrator. Like, I, I would be there for keeping track of things and I'd, I'd be doing like the book work essentially like I would not be cataloging our, all our uh, supplies what we need yeah I would not be a massively useful member of that society if I'm honest the stream is right is as adult yes yes you are right pistol we are probably okay Uh, sunlight in England? Yeah. Ah, no, no, no. Depends on the weather. Ugh. Like, we had, um, it was bright and sunny this morning for me, and then it, it rained. Cats and dogs. And then it was bright and sunny, and then it rained cats and dogs, and then it was bright and sunny. So, um, we've had variable weather today in England. So we do get sun, just like, intermittently. Oh, that's right. I need, I need some tinder. I'm gonna make these now so I can actually have a fire when I need it. I'm just gonna make them all even four. <laughs> Jewel like they're talking about cursing in the chat, and um, Jewel Wield is saying this channel curses like a sailor, and honestly, we tone it down so much. So much for the stream. Um, Twi Twitch would not, um, well, Twitch would not appreciate it if um, we talked as we do in our pri little private chats on the uh, in the legion it, like twitch would not appreciate that
Admittedly, I've not watched the Frostpunk stream for very long, but um Speaking of curse words, what's your favorite fake curse word? David. I was I was always partial to uh Shazba. Hmm. See when I was um when I was at secondary school, about the age of our protagonist here, I was reading the Artemis Fowl book series. I actually enjoy was... those book that book series. So did I. Like they were great. Um I I enjoyed them immensely. I was massively disappointed by the recent film that came out. And I have hidden some um, code in one of the fonts they use at like the footage of the pages in in my streams. Nobody's spotted it yet. I guess because I'm telling you now, I have to hide change where it's hidden. <laughs> <laughs> um. So where does your cast work come from then? Your fake uh, cast work. That comes from uh, Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Rings a bell. Uh, it's that, uh, it's a old, I think it's like 70s or 80s TV show with, uh, Robin Williams. Oh, that's, yes, Robin Williams is playing the, uh, alien. Yes. More. Okay, yes, I've not watched it, but I've heard of it, and I think I may have seen a couple of clips. So that is, that is something I'm guessing Mork says. Yes, uh, he, he's weird-ass alien. Yeah. Step Dragon Bullet, you're absolutely right. There is no Artemis Fowl film. Yeah, I, I did not even bother going to watch that. I'm like that. And I can immediately film... tell this is going to be garbage. The other film we will not mention. Um, but yes, the Artemis Fowl film, I did. I did get a copy of that. And I watched it on like triple or quadruple speed just to go through and see how god awful it was. And man, it was. It was bad. Awful. It was so bad. Like, the only real thing they've kept are the names of the characters. Like, they've they changed so, so much about the rest of the characters. And I'm not even talking about like casting choices. It's just like Mochdigums, the dwarf, is not a fucking dwarf. They can even get that human, right. Hmm. Like he's just a human criminal that is as far well, as I could. They tell, didn't even make dead. him like a fairy like everyone else. They, he's just a human. As far as I could tell. Like ah, that's bad. Like they they changed the spirit of the characters so much. Um, Let's get. Yeah, I can't believe I punished myself by watching that. I must have feeling been feeling particularly masochistic. Um, did the same a while ago because like Tiberius and the Legion suggested that I watch some other god awful property. So I watched it on like double or triple speed just to get it done. Oh wow. Um Oh how did that get there? Oh that that shouldn't be there. Oh my, I'm not even seeing a ramp or anything. Like um how that's half in. That's that went in with some speed. Is it meant to be there? Like, is it one of those buildings that's like got half a car built onto the front? Because it's like, ah, oh, you mean like a Fry's Electronics, where it's got the UFO on the front? Uh, yes. I will pretend to be. Oh, you've never, you've never seen even pictures of that. No, I, I'm close to me. We had like um a car, a garage car repair place that had um half a car stuck onto the front of the building sort of exactly like that, so kind of what I was basing it on. 
We had a joke that uh, a car had just gone out the uh, car elevator too quickly. And backwards. Let's... Yeah, let's just cook the meat. I'm being told that Stapagon bullet uh, by Stapagon Bullet that um, Mulch Diggums wasn't a human that thought he was a fairy who was in fact a dwarf with gigantism. Why? I don't know. Like, did, did the filmmakers not hear about, like, forced perspective and such? Because, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but there were, like, six very successful films in a very popular franchise that used forced perspective to great effect that had dwarfs in them. Admittedly, the first three films only had one dwarf in them, but like there were like 13 or something in the second three. Yeah, do you know what mulberries are? Like, I don't. Not really. Okay. America, you've got like diff I know what I know what an onion is, um, but like you've got different plants and oh, garlic. I know what garlic is as well, but like America, you've got different plants to us. So, what's common for you isn't like we've got like. Um, Blackberries are really common over here, but to my understanding, you have cranberries instead. We got blackberries over here. You have blackberries? What was it? Oh, blueberries. Sorry. Is uh, it blueberries? As far as I know, like, even if they, even if they were imported, they're all over the place at this point. Uh, Wait a minute. The I leather kit only requires rabbit rabbit hide. Then what was the bear, the boar hide for? Was it the knife? Black and blueberries. What does a black and blueberry look like? Stepper dragon. Stepper gun bullet. I'm gonna mispronounce names as well. I'm, I can only apologize. I would need it for the knife, but my knife is fine. So I can just make some slightly better so I'm wearing wolf pants. I've got the hat. So I think I need some new boots. I don't know what Ralphie would think about that. You wearing pants. <clears throat> pants are a choice. Okay. Ralphie, please respect our choice to wear pants. And I know you meant blackberries and blueberries, but black and blueberries sound like is amusing. Like, Okay. So this uh, is a. Oh, sorry. No, what were you saying? This is a fairly like skilled girl, sc girl scout because like she's built a raft, she's maintaining a furnace, well, um, a hob, she's making tea, she's like building yeah. traps, poisoning it, meat. It will not let clothes. me boil the water. I am very upset about that. Weird. Weird. But yeah, she's very, she's very good. Like uh, making clothes for herself out of rawhide. That's uh, that's impressive. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> no. Is, is that in the Girl Scout handbook? Who's got a copy of that? I don't know. I was um, I was a scout in one point, but um, we were kind of not very survival themed. No, it was mostly go to a place, mess about with a bunch of other people, rather than actually being survival-themed in any real way. 
Oh, that was that was a close one. I I I exploited the heck out of that mechanic to not crash into that. Okay, so I need. Thank oh. you for your support of our wrongness, Ralph. Oh, do I? Uh... Oh yeah, this ghost goat does know how to make gas bombs, doesn't she? Do I make the purifier, or do I get the shelter? Oh. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, what do you gain if you build the shelter? I'll be, I'll be able to sleep at like any time I want. Like what on, do the, you on gain the raft. If you, what do you gain if you have the water purifier? I'm pretty sure as long as I have kindling, I'll be able to just purify water. So that will remove your reliance on a scarce resource, which is the filter poker, right? Like I, yeah, I need uh, cattails in order to make the new filters. But the whole thing is, our last character died because I couldn't find a place to sleep. You have plenty of cattails, don't you? No, I... Uh, I made all the stuff I was able, and then I have, like, some spare rope. How about you have a look around here, see if you can find some cattails? Because if you can find enough well, cattails... This is a mar you... mar marina. I, this is the only, uh, this is only for upgrading. Oh, okay. The Ooh. Ship. So what does the shelter cost? Uh, it's going to cost two schematics, two hardware, three frames. Two Whereas the, and what the purifier cost? Purifier is going to cost three hardware, two schematics, and three frames. So I would need to get more hardware in order to build this in the next marina. Yeah. And how do you get hardware? Uh, I need to find bolts. How common are they? Depends on like what kind of stops we find on the way down. Like, if we find like towns or whatever, it should be relatively easy. They show up a lot in the cars. How well are you for purifiers? Sorry, I'm doing my... For water, I've got... Things. I've got uh, two T's right now, so... How long would that last? Uh, that's 60 water, so it'll last me a little bit. Go for the shelter, then. Yeah. Um, Vanzant's Youth Scouts, sponsored by Fiesta Pale. No, we're not feeding... We're not feeding the Youth Fiesta Pale. We are not. We're not feeding anyone Fiesta Pale. Like Actually, I know, I, I know. Make. Tex and a few of the others have braved it, but honestly, I I think that counts as a war crime. I cannot make the repair patch. Okay, so I am going to uh, use my last bolt to do some minor repairs because I need I need some health back. Ah, uh, do I upgrade my storage? I would keep the stuff and save it for a water purifier. Okay. Unless you're running out of storage space. Well, I'm running out of storage space in the boat, but I don't think I quite need more than what I got at the moment. Okay. Let us be off. You know what? I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do that. Yeah, I'm gonna utilize this brand new. Oh boy! Straight into the rapids. Okay, hold her steady and avoid the rocks. Oh, I missed the church, gosh dang it. Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad crash. Oh dear. That looked a bad crash as well. There went all those repairs. <laughs> Well, at least you made the repairs, otherwise you might be in the drink. OK. 
Oh, what's that thing? That's a thingy. This is just a wilderness, so maybe I'll find okay. some lumber. Actually, I may find some cattails. I see rabbit. Oh, I do need a rabbit. Do I? I need a snare. Actually, give me two. Uh, there's multiple use or single, single use? use. I got it's. That was a snake. I don't like that. Um, I was watching chat earlier, and apparently snakes don't make particularly good eating, but can be eaten. Apparently lots of bones. Ugh, I, I don't think I would want to try. Is... Ah, no. How do I, f do, how do I get rid of the snake? It's supposed to disappear after it bites something. Where is the snake? Right there around the dead rabbit. Oh. He, he's guarding oh, yeah. all the cattails. Can, can you poke it with a stick and get rid of it? I wish. Ooh, not some boats. Yeah. Um. Do no, I would need to make a bow. Oh, I got that rabbit. <sighs> Inventory full. No, it's not. You lie to me. You tell me horrible untruths. You eating the mulberries. Yep, to clear the space so I can grab the rabbit hide. Uh, you have the all important toilet roll though. Like uh, as I know from like the COVID times, that toilet roll is essential. In fact you should probably stockpile six or seven years where. I need to Wait. What? Exactly. Careful in the preparation. Prepare lots of toilet roll. What is the anti-venom? Apparently snake tastes like chicken. I've heard that about and everything. Like, oh, exactly this tastes like chicken. Like that tastes like chicken. I, I, gosh dang it, I need. Uh, yep, Notorious Ben is sharing his recipe for, like, um, grilled snake. Essential ingredients appear to be a shovel and a snake. Oh, water. Drop this for now. So I can make the What do I need now? Ah Charcoal. Oh that though that's back at the uh, give me some water. You can pick up the yucca. So that's briars. I, I would not recommend leaving the meat on the ground, though. I don't really need meat at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it there while I... Okay. We got sapling. And we need to head back to what the... What is chicken? 
tastes like chicken because chickens and snakes are descended from dinosaurs, so dinosaurs taste like chicken. What if <laughs> snakes don't taste like chicken? What if chicken tastes like snakes? Water filter. Give me some clean water. I need... Where is my filter? Right there. Okay, that's fine. I can do this. That there. Eat this. Consume the meat. Make some more rope. What if they use chicken flavors as a basis of other meat flavors? Mm. Like a copy paste flavor. How do cultures without chickens describe meat flavors to outsiders? Uh, what cultures are there without chickens nowadays? Like, I. I reckon you'd probably have to go for a fairly, probably a pretty unwesternized culture to not have chickens. Like, chickens are a staple of, like, a lot of diets around the world now. In the past, yes. Okay. Let us go see if I can use this box trap to capture the snake. Oh, oh no, the snake just left. Okay. Oh, hopefully you can use the box trap for something else. It's still acting like it's there. Okay, yeah, I actually need to use these and make a pouch. Uh, so a pouch will let you carry more? Yes. And Next. then I'll use my last snare to get one more rabbit pelt so I can make the uh, leather kit. Uh, what's the leather kit useful for? Uh, I have to use a leather kit to use wolf hides to make clothing. Ah. Uh. Because the wolf hide is way more, uh, like, warm, apparently. Hmm. I would have thought rabbit would have been warmer, to be honest. I can see why in game mechanics terms, wolf hide is the choice for the warmer stuff because you know it's a harder resource to get but like I'd have thought like the fluffy fluffiness of rabbits would uh, lend itself to being better oh there's a snake uh, do I want to capture you know what? I'll capture the snake what Wait. what I do, do I... you need a snake Wolf fur thicker and coarser holds the heat better. Okay. I thought you'd just want like fluffy, fluffy stuff to um. Wait a minute. How do I? Ah, great. Never mind. I don't know how to use this, so I'm just picking it up. I'll bring it with me. The rabbits don't come out until the daytime. Great. Okay, we'll just continue on. No use sticking Have around. You searched everything? Hmm? You searched everything. Uh, that I could without angering the snakes. The snicks. The uh, scaly okay. noodles. Angry. Then. What are they? Danger noodles, aren't they? Snakes are danger noodles? I think that's the other term for him, yeah. 
Danger Road. Fairy number 666 is declaring his love for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, I need to rewatch Land Before Time. God, I've not seen that for ages. By the ages. Great <laughs> Valley. Years. Um, in a certain in a certain campaign, we did have um, a long pig barbecue. It it was just named that it wasn't actually a cooking long pig, but um, yeah, that, that kind of appeals to our sense of humor. Her, her, Some of our sense of humor. The, we're not like ubiquitous. I'm, I'm not sure if that joke appeals to you, Dark Steel. Yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> bit tasteless. I don't know what kind of sauce did you use? <laughs> barbecue. Do you make your own barbecue or do you just uh slather on whatever's on hand, whatever someone's had sitting in the fridge for who knows how long? I, I don't I don't know what I don't know what I'll cook was doing to make the barbecue sauce um, we didn't ask questions food was presented, it was edible fair enough it is understandable ah I always zone out when I play this game this is probably not the best game for me to stream no Fine, I get too focused on Battletech when I stream that. Um, I'm just trying to keep a casual eye on the chat. Um, Super cash. Like, Jewel Wielder is declaring his age. Like, they have kids and land before time on VHS. You feel old, wow. I, like, I hear having kids makes you feel old. Like, my cousins that I remember when they were, like, Tiny, the youngest of them's like in their second year of a university now. It's it's nuts. Time marches on. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Ah, space. The first Space Jam was so good. That a classic animated one, as opposed to the remake they've done recently. Is that uh, even out yet? I, yes, it is. I don't acknowledge it. It does not exist. Fair enough. What is your sports ball of choice? My sports ball of choice. Um, to play or to watch? Uh, let's start with to watch. To watch, I would say there is an entertainment in watching American football. Okay. Which is perhaps a weird choice for me, but like there is eh, hockey. Does that count as sports ball? Actually, like I'll, super. I'll, I'll count that. Yeah. Okay. Um, including hockey, I've never watched a hockey game, so I can't say it's my favorite. I, I have watched a grand total of one game of American football. Um, I greatly enjoyed it, um, but that's mostly because I bet 50 pence on the outcome. So <laughs> I guess my answer is entirely dependent on I had a small wager based on the success of a team I had absolutely no ties to. You're like, that one sounds interesting. We're going to say they win. Hmm? Uh, yeah, like, me and a mate at uni, well, it was at uni, and we just were randomly, a whole group of us randomly allotted us um, teams in the Super Bowl, and we each threw 50 pence into the pot, 
and I, ca I can't even remember who won. But like just having like a tiny bet on suddenly made the game so much more interesting. <laughs> Your money is mine. No, it will be mine. Uh, what What about you? What's your favorite sports ball to watch? Uh, none of my family likes watching sports. Like, not me, not my father, just not my brothers. I uh, didn't ask about your family. I asked about you. I don't know. I guess baseball, if it's live... Like, I, I wouldn't watch it on TV. Weirdly enough, I think I watch, like, golf on TV. Fair enough. I can see that can be a bit, like, cathartic to watch. I'm like, I, like be... looking at golf, though, I'm like, I would suffer if I was trying to stand in the crowd and watch this. I mean, like, you can stand in the crowd and you can watch as they all tee off, but, like, you can't watch the rest of the game. Um, I've I've been to quite a few cricket matches, not like Test cricket, 2020 cricket, um, which is a format of cricket they brought in, which has 20 overs on each side, so it's limited, and so you can get a game done within an afternoon, pretty much. Um, I, I enjoyed going to watch those games, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite sports ball. That's like What's your favorite to play then, though? Bowling. Bowling. Yes, bowling. I went bowling with uh, Aloe and uh, Cass like a month ago. I stretched muscles my body didn't even know I had. <laughs> a quilt of television, Tim. My stories is on, television Tim told the field reps who came a-callin'. He were the kind of body liked things a particular way. When his kin offered him a bigger set, he declined because it me meant moving around his furniture. When the broadcast stops, on went the taped reruns, complete with commercials. God. Uh. Someone check Foxy's mic. He's speaking gibberish. Am I speaking gibberish? He's just speaking the goblin language of gobbledygook. Ah, uh, we've got a stretch redeemed. We've got a stretch. Uh, 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 yep, something cracked when I stretched. Uh. <laughs> wow, it got dark, dark fast. Uh. Uh, the cricket bit. What do you mean, speaking gobbledygook? gobbledygook? I mean, that was I in am... Harry Potter, right? They're British, too. Uh, that is a franchise I do not talk about anymore. I liked the books, I liked the first two movies, and that was it. I... I really liked the books, but then I was the age when they were coming out. I was smack bang in the target audience, like... Yeah, no, I was, yeah. like... 13 when I went to uh, I think it was the 4th or 5th books release yeah that became an event all in itself is getting to go to the like the release events I, hang on no like look I said American football I was nice I said American football sorry you were saying <laughs> You're being too nice to them. Yell angrily. I don't like being angry. I'm angry a lot of the time. I don't like it. Fair enough. It's, uh... Um... Sorry, what were you saying before I started yelling angrily at chat? Uh... I forget. Okay, hardware. Yes. Uh, yes, you, you Americans are all... I am a bit envious of the Americans in the Legion because you do do you do see each other much more often than we do in the UK. 
and I am aware that there is a UK meetup that I have chosen to not go to. But, like, also you guys have a completely different relationship with distance than we do. Because, like, the UK meetup is... If I were going to train there, it would take a couple of hours to get there. If I was going to get Megabus there, it would take seven hours on the Megabus. I could drive there myself, but it's like 200 plus miles to drive. And I don't want to have to do that. And then there's the associated costs. And it's like, there's things about it. There's multiple things about it that mean, like, I'm Too not doing it. Too much effort. Yeah. And like... Each one of these things taken individually isn't a deal breaker, but like taken collectively, they are. That's that's the state I'm at with it. Okay. And and like, I am bulking at like a couple of hours travel or a couple hundred miles to drive, and I am very aware that I speak to Americans with these things, and they laugh in my face. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll drive a couple states over just to go pan for gold for a day or two. Yeah. What time is it? What time is it? It is 11.07 for me. So we're an hour in. Yeah, we're an hour in. Okay. Because we have Crow coming on right after us. I can't, remember, I can't remember what game he's playing, but... Uh... I remember it being talked about. Let me just check what game he is playing. It is The Captain. The Captain. I believe it's The Captain. Let me just double check what was spoken about. It was Diggs. Diggs has relinquished to Crow. Uh... I can't see it. I believe it is the captain that Crow will be streaming after this. Um, but yeah, we should be we should behave ourselves and finish on time. Unlike my streams where I always run over. Always. They can't make you do nothing. <laughs> they can. They can change the stream key and kick us off air. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> If they want yeah, to be mean about it. <laughs> that there is always that emergency plug that can be pulled if needed. Um, Jewel Weeder, um, we, we'll loop back to like the um, earlier comment that the stream schedule is currently just a suggestion. Um, it's a guideline. Oh, what was that? Hey, thanks for the bits. Bits. Thunderclap Sasquatch. Thunderclap Sasquatch has cheered 50 bits. That's like money, isn't it? Bits is money, right? Yes, it is some It is some sort of a virtual currency. Okay, awesome. Um, 50 bits is almost worth one bar. Um, I'm just going to read through chat and interact with chat because, of course, we have to. Um, so why is UK travel a nightmare? UK travel is a nightmare because we are a country that decided to make travel as inhumanly difficult as possible. Uh, no, I don't know why. We just have a lot of people and not a lot of space. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Um. I don't yeah. have a rabbit pelt. Uh, the schedule at the moment is just a suggestion, really. We do have a proper schedule that's internal that is actually reflecting what we're doing, but it doesn't always make its way onto Twitch. We are planning to fix that. That is something we're hoping to get right on top of. It's just like all these things. Um, there's a level of organization <laughs> and time needed. And as, as Diggs was saying, um, I think on his Friday stream, things tend to move slowly in the Legion. Um, that just happens when you've got people from time zones all over the world trying to have meetings and decide things. Yeah, that um, that is a problem. It's like, oh, I want to hang out with so-and-so. Ah, no, no. 
And um, is that Lindsay Sterling mu music in the game? I don't know. I, I, don't, I am I don't aware know. of Lindsay Sterling. She's a violinist. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm aware of her existing. I wouldn't be able to tell her music though. She could have done the score. Shall I check? Ah, what? This is poison ivy. No. How do I cure this? Ah, aloe. Okay, I got some of that back at the. Heading back to the raft to get some aloe vera. The uh, soundtrack for this game was made by Chuck Reagan. So probably not Lindsay Sterling if Chuck Reagan is getting the credit. Whoever he is. Folk, rock, punk, rock, and folk, punk. It's punk because we say it is. Actually, what is the definition of punk? Punk anything. Punk is rebellion. Punk is non-conformity. Um, punk is God save the queen. And like to all of you out there, all of you Yanks, go Google or like Bing or search engine, whatever your favorite one is, God save the queen. By, was it Sex Pistols that did God save the queen? Um, I think so. Google that, watch that, l listen to that. Like, that was banned from radio in the UK It's for a very long time. It's only relatively recently it wasn't banned. And, like, then look at when this track went out. And, like, that is punk. That is anti-establishment. It is rebellion. Like, Rebels. I... It, <sighs> Or rebel scum. Like folk punk is like, I don't get how folk punk can be a thing because punk is a rejection. Punk on some level must be a rejection of tradition. And so folk music has that whole folk tradition to it, I would have thought. So how can it be folk and punk? Because... You know, a, a tenant of punk would surely have to be a rejection of that oh, conformity. There, there is room. I don't know. I mean, I get what you're saying. Uh... <laughs> Actually, so would folk punk just be... Uh, no, 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 don't... <sighs> Would folk punk just be country people trying to be city people? I don't know. I don't know. Could it... Oh, we have a deep comment being made. Could it perhaps be the espousal of a dying subculture being killed by the establishment? That is deep. Possibly. There has been a dearth of entry traditionalism in mainstream culture that being traditional is the new punk. That is maybe a case to be made for that. Maybe. Possibly. Could be. I'm, I'm not a musical historian, but what I will say is that a while ago... I was watching YouTube and there was a Verita Veritasium thing on bowling and how bowling balls um, exist with like the weighted cores. Uh, yeah, I um, saw something similar to that. Uh. Yeah, that was interesting. And oiled lanes and how the oil patterns on lane can affect so, the ball. I saw that the oil pattern actually only covers like the first third of the lane. 
Yeah. And I realized why I was able to bowl better when... So, like, when I bowl, I'm able to get more strikes. I will toss the ball, like, like as far as I can down the lane. So, and I'm realizing that's because all the momentum is pushing it forward. There's no oil to let it slide around. I'm getting it past the majority of, of the oil. See, that's interesting, because the point of the oil is to allow you to put a spin on the ball so that you can throw the ball with a spin on it down the lane to the side, and then after it has passed the oil, the ball will get traction on the lane, and the spin you put on it will cause it to hook round and hit the pins. Yeah, see, that's the whole thing, though, is I, I am a straight bowler. I like I try it, I'm like, I want the ball to hit that, and I'm going to throw it at that. <laughs> True, yes. Uh, Thunderclap Sasquatch has demanded attention by highlighting their message. In the USA, a lot of folk was absorbed into country for a long time. Lately, I've seen a lot of their punk and rock mixed in with folk music. Where'd that rabbit go? Come out, rabbit. I need your skin so I can make a leather kit. Uh, see, I'm trying to remember, like, what have I listened to that's, like, folk? Um, I can't remember what it was. There was a Glastonbury uh, festival a while ago where we had Dolly Parton. Um, come out with her rhinestone. Um, God, what is it? What's that instrument that Dolly Parton um, uses? Oh, I can't remember. Like, and she like she rocked Glastonbury. She rocked Glastonbury with um, like country music. It was good to see. People hate country when they refer to folk. I don't actually know the difference. Sapling. Come on, rabbit. Come out of your hole and into my noose. Yes. Wait, no. I was blinded. The trick of the pixels convinced me that the rabbit was hanging. Uh, they are baskily, those rabbits. It's going to force me to sleep again, isn't it? Try and lure one of those rabbits out. This angers me. Rascally, rascally rabbits. Sleeping in the back of the bus. Yeah. Did it just... No. Come out of your hole. Ah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. I can handle it. I'm just going to go to sleep again. Maybe the storm will catch up with me, and I'll just drown. I mean, you look okay to food, for food. Do you really need the rabbit? I need it for its skin. Oh. Thank you very much, but ah. digs right on top of that bot. Oh, we had a bot. We had a bot, but it was gone before I could move my mouse. That was quick. You're Diggs on the game. Fast. Diggs is fast. Got to wake up fast to beat Diggs. He's like that cocaine bear. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. That cocaine bear. Okay, I'm just, I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. I'm not wanted here. None of the rabbits will come out of their holes. I guess they're all Bugs Bunny impersonators. 
Watch out for rapids. And we go to the church. Uh, Gonna sanctify it in Zorg's name. Hey, we're joined by Cookie as well. Hi, Cookie. Greetings, Cookie. Ah, no, too many wolves. I'm not, oh no, I'm not even sticking around for this, no. I'm sure there's like a metaphor in there, like going to the church and being surrounded in wolves. I don't got the patience to kill all the wolves. <laughs> Wow, that's that's like two cars, a dozen barrels, and some trees. Ah. Region four of ten. Okay, so just another six regions to go. Steel houses. Steel houses always look cool. I think they do. What, what, what kind of steel houses? Are we talking about like the, the hangar houses? Oh no, like stilt houses. Oh, stilt um, houses. Like the ones we passed. For uh, yeah. the whole floodwaters protection? Yeah. That's what that's for, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it looks like they were kind of built after the flooding, maybe. Clearly, the residents didn't get the message that the storm is coming. Or is it winter's coming? It's a storm. It's like a it's yearly a storm, storm, apparently, from what the I was able to piece together from the lore. It's the storm that's coming. It's not winter that's coming. Nice, peaceful stretch of river. Something's coming. My patience is gone. Oh, is that a dam? It, does this count as a dam? It, it's not really blocking the water. It's. Oh! Okay, I guess it's not in the water, but like. It's blocking you. And that's what matters, right? Hmm. Mm. There are people here, Jewel Wielder. Didn't you see, like, the uh, the witch? Who uh, tried to hallucinate us to think we were a chicken. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell her that, but that's totally what she was going to do. Ah, uh, no, that was quite early in the stream. It was about an hour ago. <sighs> Give me that charcoal. And you Sorry, were there, sir. I'm tired. Here's a guy right here. Flim Flam. Listen. Well met, friend. Flim Flam's the name. Barter's my game. Now, you look like a rugged sort. Self-sufficient and able. But we all need help from time to time. No shame in admitting that, is there? Suppose not. Now, a seasoned traveler such as yourself, you know how the cold can stab at your bones at night, at least if you lack the right accoutrements. They give, got me this here rabbit pelt boots, be inclined to trade up, say in exchange for a box trap. Uh, not interested. Got anything else? How about that ash cake for cotton pants? Seemed to fare. Uh, no, what else you got? <laughs> None of these trades are good. Yeah. Here's an aloe. I'll trade it for an alcohol. You know what? Sure. I, I don't want. I don't want to leave empty-handed. Uh, get some better trade goods, Mister Flim Flam. <laughs> Another plausibly satisfied customer. Remember to tell friends and enemies far and wide. You can always trust Flim Flam. 
Much obliged. It sounds like he might be distantly related to Discount Dan. Plausibly satisfy customer. There is no proof, one way or the other, if my previous customers were unsatisfied. Complaints notwithstanding, they, they don't count. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I Is it ancient Sumeria or something? Like, some of the oldest written... How the hell did that bus get there? See, I asked that same question in the last playthrough. I'm like, how? The only explanation um, we could come up with is, like, due to how these pipes are here, that there was an earthquake and this, like, mountain is actually, like, new. Maybe. Uh, but, yeah, it is just Crow later on. Just Crow in about half an hour. By himself? Um, no co-host yes, or anything? Yes, by himself. Um, I, I understand no co-host. Um, it is the captain of the game that he is playing, I believe. Um, what do I eat? Food. I guess I'll eat some of this cooked meat. Mm, yeah, I'll eat too. Fine. If I absolutely need oh. to, I can cook more. And next week, um, Ello and someone else will be running for the king. Nice to see you getting nice and patriotic there, Diggs. <laughs> there are more kings than just the British one. <laughs> Nonsense. For the Shogun. Oh, I like. I really enjoyed Shogun Total War, one and two. Like, uh, both See, great games. I have not really played any of the sh uh, Total War games. Uh, please proceed to Angel Yards for evacuation. Hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the source of the radio signal. I think this is just an amplifier. Well, maybe. Okay source of the radio signal we were listening to, maybe not the source of the broadcast itself. Yes, so I will proceed to Angel Yards. So I'm pretty sure that's heaven, so let me just jump off this cliff right here. <laughs> that's a bit drastic. <laughs> Don't you think you should go looking first, just to check? Uh, I mean, I, I guess... I guess if I have to... I mean, you don't have to, it's just jumping off a cliff seems quite final. I suppose, but I had this bungee cords all set and ready. <laughs> North Pacific Tree Octopus has joined us in chat. North Pacific Tree Octopus. That is quite a name. Are they an aquatic animal, or are we talking some sort of, like, jelly-legged spider? Well, it might be appropriate for the game, because, like, you know, the level of water has, uh, uh, ascended quite a bit. Oh, we've just got a hydrate. hydrate. Uh, oh, come on, are you serious? <laughs> I, I am serious. No, 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 no not the hydrate, I... What do you mean? That was our that's our first hydrate. Carry on. I'll hydrate you. You keep. You just keep swimming. Today I have cranberry grape juice. I'll hydrate indeed. Um, apparently, um. A North Pacific tree octopus is a kind of arboreal cephalopod. Kind of like an Aussie drop bear, but much friendlier. They just want hugs. You know what? Hmm. You don't sound convinced. See, I'm like trying to think here because I'm like. 
I was initially gonna say, I'm like, I don't want something with a beak hugging me, but I'm like, no, I kind of like birds. So I can't mm. just say that, but it's like, it's the combination of the rubbery skin, the tentacles, and the beak. Region mm. 5 of 10. You, you don't think, you wouldn't like a hug from a uh, octopus then? From a cephalopod? Um, oh god. <laughs> you, you believe in burbs? They aren't real, come on. You know, it's got a point, like, the government has to be hiding surveillance drones somewhere, and, like, the birds just seem to be really, like, See, trying this... candidate for that. No, 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 no. See, bird, they're trying to discredit birds, so people will start shooting at them, because the government's just hiding their drones in the swarms of bugs. It's like, who's going to notice one more bug in that swarm? Okay, so now we're going to get point. the water purifier. Yeah, I think so. Or do we want a or do you 30, want frame? 30 frame? Yeah. Yeah, because I got plenty of water at the moment. Or you could get a raft motor. No, like, oh, you need repairs, though. Yeah, I got, I got stuff for repairs. Like, that's not a problem. Okay. I think we're going to get the sturdy frame. Okay. Pistol is yelling repair with three exclamation marks. Do we have a repair with three exclamation marks option? Ah, uh, we got we got like some old lumber repairs, some minor uh, repairs. Probably have to do. Like major repairs is like one exclamation mark worth, right? I I'd have thought so, but we don't have any patches, do we? Yeah. Did you see what we reinforced our frame with? We just tied down with rope a couple of spare metal signs. Yep. That's that's uh that's reinforcing that structural rope that is. Adios, whoever is going. You know what? Oh, Angry Pumpkin is going. Adios, Angry Enjoy Pumpkin. Enjoy the rest of your day with however you choose to spend it. But don't do drugs. They're expensive. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm g I think I'm going to get the raft reason. storage. <laughs> I'm going to get the raft That's... storage as well. Okay. Which is just, instead of a couple boxes, we just bolt the trunk of a car to our... Is, is that really what's going to happen? Yep. Like this is our current storage, and that's I am. Um, I'm looking. Oh, oh yes, okay. That's, uh, hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's worse options. Oh, okay. Bully Snake is going as well. Well, um, in half an hour's time, it'll be. Why? Why do I plug other things so much? Half an hour's time, that will be Crow on, so uh, we're you'll be back we're in floundering Crow. for talking points, and it's like, that's something we can bring up, right? That's a safe yeah. subject. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, but you enjoy the rest of your day as well. Okay, so we're fully repaired, we've reinforced the frame, we've changed out the storage trunks. Super. Super. Hoopla. Super califragil, this stick gets me out of doses. If you don't like the sound of it. I can't remember the words to the song. I haven't watched like, that in a while. I haven't watched it for a while, but it's like some things just get burned into your memory. Yeah, it's like I haven't watched that in forever. I still remember it. But then again, some things you remember it just like perfectly. But you want to yeah. watch it again. Like I watch I rewatch Trigun every year. I'll just rewatch mm. the whole thing. I I tend to not watch a lot of movies or 
things again. Um, I like have quite a good memory for a lot of plot points and things. Um, but yeah, Pistol's asking favorite movie, so I I'll ask like Dark Steel what his favorite movie is before I answer that. I I can't give a favorite movie because it's like it changes all the time. Mm -hmm. Like depending on yeah. my movie. one of my favorite movies is Fifth Element. I my I greatly okay. enjoy that movie. Like it's. I will rewatch that all the time. Okay. I think I think I have two answers to this question. Because like the answer depends on the mood. Um mood I'm in. Like, I like the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Secret Life of Walter Mitty is a good film, as I... far as I'm concerned. Like, it is beautiful. It's like the cinematography on that is fantastic. And aside from anything, it's a really nice feel good kind of a film without being like a love film. You know, it's not a romance. Um, which I appreciate because um, it doesn't have any of those contrivances that commonly goes along with that genre. Um, I also really like Master and Commander, uh, Far Side of the World. See, I um, don't think I've seen either of those movies. I can recommend both of them. Um, can recommend both really quite highly. Well, I'll have to give at least one of them a look. Um, yeah, like, um, Secret Life of Walter Mitty is a good kind of feel-good film. It's, like, as I said, beautiful. Um, it has been described as chat by, uh, Adorable. And Master and Commander is, I think, probably one of the most accurate period films um, it's, you know, set sort of in the age of sail, but like the age of exploration and pirate is over. It's, it's following a frigate. Um, okay. and it's like came out the same year as it's the other like high seas film that came out when Pirates of the Caribbean did, but one of them turned into a massively valuable franchise and the other one didn't. And maybe the other one should have got the franchise. Um, but, yeah, I like it. It's it's very, very good, very historically accurate, despite being entirely made up. Okay. There, there's been a couple movies like that, where it's like, you're like, this wasn't real history? Why not? <laughs> um, I don't know if Pirates of the Caribbean was oh, House no. of the Mouse when it came out. Was Pirates it? of the Caribbean, what, the first one was just great. It was amazing. Two and oh, three yeah, were that, fine yeah. for what for like what they were. Yes. Um gosh dang it. Oof. Uh four was I'm like this, this is a step in the wrong direction. Like you guys The the Fountain of Youth made zero sense. Like zero. Uh um oh yeah. It's like you've like, got to get these two cups that were made by... Uh, I can't even remember the dude's name. Uh, I, I can't really remember much of that. Yeah, film these like two that, silver but... cups, and then you got to get a, the tear of a mermaid and put it in this cup, and... Oh, my God, why are there so many wolves? Back! Well, chat has proposed another one, though. Although they seem to be on side with Master and Commander, which is always... Um, like reassuring it's always nice when people don't shout to you like you're bad and your opinions are bad um but they are calling out um a knight's tale oh knight's tale is a good one yeah knight's tale is a good one knight's tale is a fun one i i loved learning about all the bloopers in that one. Oh god just like when the the helmet got smashed in that was an mm. actual accident on set yeah. Or um, when they have when he wins his first like sword bout, and and the audience is completely silent and how that's that that's they all forgot their cue. Yeah. No, because they were Hungarian. They were Hungarian and they didn't have a fucking clue what to do. 
great. Um, I thought it was that they had forgotten their cue, but uh, I I don't know. Maybe it I hadn't forgotten a. It it's it's funny. I love it. Um, strangely, like we're talking about films now, and like I was part of a chat Ooh, in the no, lead. No, 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 no. Oh no 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 no! Oh fuck! Ooh, run away! Run away! Run away! That is a nasty boar. That's an angry boar. Oh, oh. Ah, no, it's still there. Um, can you lay a trap for it? Maybe. Um. See, I'm pretty sure if I get any closer, though. I am just cheesing these mechanics. Like, this boar should have attacked me by now. Why has it? Is that just going to set it off instantly? I, I'm going to position the next one to set off instantly. I, I'm using this as like a safety net. Okay. Um. Yeah, big pick. Oh, and big... Big cheese there. Uh, chat is also calling out Pacific Rim. Um, who is that? Your name is too green for me to read it. Uh, Gilly Monster. Gilly Monster wants um, a Jaeger. Okay, I enjoyed the first one. I have not seen the second one, but I haven't heard good things about it. I really enjoyed the first one. The second one, they had a change of who was creating the film which isn't always the best of things because um, I, I mean you can tell from the first film that a lot of work went into designing those Jaegers and then we killed the second... boar king um, and all it gives is three boar hide no I don't know. Like, your, your name color's fine. It's just I'm sat back in my chair and looking at the monitor and the contrast isn't great. If I switch to dark mode, it'll be fine. But I'm on light mode. Um, is there even a dark mode? Yeah, you, you don't have to change your color. I'll, like, I'll see if I can find a dark mode or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, there was a conversation in the Legion last night, though, about films, and like all the, pretty much all of these came up. <laughs> like, I think, I think, like, there's a commonly accepted, what is a good film? <laughs> Quilt of Good Phil Droog. For a religious feller, Good Phil Droog sure spent a lot of time arguing. Didn't seem to grant him much peace at all. Hollered till he was red in the face about how what was occurring wasn't actually occurring. Said so in this here book, he roared. No more earthly disaster. Night for the evacuation, Sinkhole took his house, him with it. Still here shouting, some say. Oh, that's un unfortunate. Yeah, that, 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 that one's a little dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kubo and the Two Strings. Yes, Kubo and the Two Strings is great. Like, just for its technical uh, level, that is that is great. Um, have you seen Kubo? Yes, uh, I greatly enjoyed it. My friend just does this amazing uh, voice about, like, how this movie came about. You know, the, the one actor is like, I want to be a Beatle. Uh, uh... <laughs> Um, a beetle, sir? A beetle, samurai. Wouldn't you rather do... No, I want to be a beetle. We'll, we'll see what we can do, sir. I I like the ending of... I like how that film is resolved. Because it's building up to a certain type of resolution, and then the actual resolution they get is very different. Yeah, and I, I like that. I enjoyed twitch, the idea, like, at the very end, um, 
with the eyes. Mm. And I'm like, that is very... I, I also didn't like it where all the people uh, started telling him, like, who he was. And I'm like, you're just taking advantage at this point. Yeah, I found that was a bit... I, I was... Well... I wasn't a massive fan of that bit, but I liked how they did end it. Yeah. And I'm going to try to avoid spoilers for anybody watching it. Also, that, that rendition and... of uh, While My Guitar Gently Weeps is just great. Oh, it is. It is. And, and just, it is such an artistically put together film. Like, um, I forget the name of the studio, but they built one of the biggest uh, puppets ever currently, I think, was for it, that film. Yeah, the, the skeleton thing. Yes, the skeleton. I, I, I think that should be... That's the skeleton king in my head, actually. <laughs> Dude, I, like, when you watch the, like, the end credit scene where it like, shows them like, moving that God. thing to do the scene, you're just like, oh, that's, that's actually really big. Anything, anything kind of done like that. That, like, stop-motion animation is always going to be a labor. But stop-motion animation, where you've got sets constructed, how they did those sets is... I am astonished that they even tried. And I am so happy that they pulled it off. Ah. Uh. Are, uh, are they doing any other projects? Like, what other project are they working on right now? Don't know. Shall I have a look? Yeah. I can't even remember the name of the studio. That isn't good. Um, uh, like a, grab some like water. A, What are they working on? Upcoming stuff. Upcoming animated Wildwood and the Night Gardener, which has a reference of six. What's a reference? Uh, like a teams with Ozark creator Bill for the Night Gardener. Um. And then there's apparently a film adaptation of the Wildwood, um, of Wildwood, the novel. They don't have release dates. Um, like, a couple of live action films, apparently. Um, and they've been contracted to work on... Oh no, that's just prior cin cinematography that they've been contracted to work. Or they were contracted to work on Corpse Bride. I don't know that. Um, Missing Link. They did Missing Link in 2019. I heard that that was meant to be quite a fun one. Uh, But no more claymation that you can see. Um. Well, it's it's not given much details in terms of like their upcoming animated and upcoming live action films. Like Wildwood and animation are both like release dates to be TBA co-production with distributor to be TBA. Um. So like. I can't see what they're up to, but well, I'm just looking at their Wikipedia page. Okay. Um, well, hopefully they're working on something good. I mean, according to an article on Collider from April this year, uh, they're teaming up with Bill De, De Beck, the guy behind Ozark to do the Night Gardener, so maybe that is a thing. Hmm. Um, Something to keep an eye out for. Yeah. Oh, come on. This... Uh, ah. 
I'm like, no, I want to go this way, and like it keeps drifting out. Of course, if we're talking about claymation, I have to, as a Brit, bring up Artman animation. Uh, I don't really recognize studios, just to let you know. Wallace so. and Gromit? Okay. I've seen like one so or they, two of those. Yeah, so um, I prefer their older stuff, you know, like um, The Wrong Trousers. Um, that was a good one. I wasn't such a fan of like the more recent stuff. Um, a Grand Day Out was fun. A Grand Day Out, like them, they build a rocket and they go to the moon because they've run out of cheese, and the cheese is, of course, made of. The moon is, of course, made of cheese. And why wouldn't it be? Of course. Is that not where you get your cheese? Um. I, I, I don't get my cheese from the moon. I'm, I'm not a multi-billionaire that owns, um, oh, man. you know, a highly profitable company, unfortunately. They just give it away here in America. Haven't you heard of government cheese? <laughs> We're the ones that landed on the moon. Where do you think we got it? <laughs> I, I, you know what I have heard? And this is from watching the West Wing. I have heard that there was some, Ew. like, chief of... Staff who oh put like God. a two ton block of cheese in the White House or something. Oh, God. <laughs> oh I was talking as you were crashing. Oh, yeah. That that was a terrible. Terrible. Oh, no. We went from 100 to like 30. Oh. Well, just, just don't crash. Apparently it's day 18 and we've only traveled 16 miles. Like, Yeah, we're not making great time. It would be faster to walk. With how many Jesus. wolves are around? Uh, um, it's, it's like 53, so we've only got like 7 minutes. Okay. Just to Make you aware. Yep. Okay, so put that there. Like, I would be remiss if I didn't, like... Yep, we're gonna have to start... Ra oh, no, 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 no. Give me that rabbit hide. Sumac. Yuka. Oh, yeah, they did do the pirates as well, didn't they? The pirates was quite funny. Are we talking to Veggie Tales right here? <laughs> no, um, the pirates. The pirates is like that, the film where the um, meme no but yes comes from. Oh. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't got time for you. Oh. God. See, like this is how you communicate with people. You you like pick the lowest common denominator, which in most times is uh, depressingly memes. You saying there's something wrong with memes? I am saying that you lose a lot of nuance when conversational points are boiled down to their most easily. Yeah, that that is that is um, true. Uh, art, whatever. I I I like value nuance in conversation, but then again, I will yell at people. Words mean words, so um, or words mean things. Oh, uh, what was it? Uh, I was just watching with my brother the other night. The uh, I keep blanking on his name. I'm terrible with names. Uh. The actor, the seven words you can't say on television. No. Not the, not the actor, the comedian. No, I don't know this guy. Ah, chat, help me. George Carlin? That was it. And yeah, never heard of him. 
like I had heard of him before. I just hadn't actually sat down and uh, watched any of his stuff. But I was walking the, watching a documentary with my brother on him, mm-hmm. and it was like there's like four hundred. Was it forty thousand or four hundred thousand words in the English language? But there's only seven of them you can't use on television. And he's like, "Why?" Like, um, I don't know why. I'm pretty sure the list of words we can't use on Twitch is longer. That is true. Okay, will this save if I sleep? What do you mean, what the hell, Foxy? Like, I'm a Brit. And, like, I wasn't okay. alive in the 70s. Saving. Okay. So let us go to the main menu. Yes. You know what? I, I recommend you guys all, like, go away and watch Yes Minister. <laughs> yes Minister is relevant today. Go on, go go watch an obscure British political sitcom. Or Futurama. Futurama is always a viable R alternative. Cake or death. Yes, cake or death. I've seen I like that's not a George Carlin bit. Ah. Uh... See, at least somebody in chat seen the yes, minister. Sorry, we're wrapping up because it's like a couple of minutes too, aren't we? Yes. Uh, so uh, <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining me and Foxy here today for another episode of Endless River Tours. Uh, join me uh, two weeks from now, since I'm every other week at the moment, as we see whether Foxy will become a crow or join the skeletons. I don't know. I'm slightly worried about co-hosting. I seem to be arguing with chat a lot. I, you are Thank interacting you, though, with <laughs> You're interacting with chat, which is a bit more than I did when I first tried co-hosting. Did not go well. That. <laughs> well, I've not got a game to pay attention to. Well, uh, once again... Thank you all for joining us here today. Um, uh, stick around for Crow's uh, Captain. Captain, my captain. Uh, the captain. The captain. The singular. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Night, all. Farewell. Farewell.